Good morning or good afternoon everyone, depending on where you are joining us from, and welcome to today's webinar. My name is Eliza Barry from Business Review and I will be your host for today. It is our pleasure to have ILC Dover with us today, who will be presenting today's webinar titled Improving Efficiency in Media and Buffer Production. Today's guest speaker is Dave Howes, Regional Sales Manager. I'd like to welcome you to our platform on 24. You'll notice that this webinar is browser-based, so if you disconnect for any reason, please just click on the link that you received via email to rejoin the session. In order to ask questions, you can send them in via the questions widget. Just type them into the box at the top left-hand corner of your screen and click Submit. We will allocate some time at the end of the session to address any questions or thoughts that you may have. Please use the yellow help widget if you require any assistance and you can move, resize and maximize any of the windows in front of you to get a better view of the slides. But now, please allow me to welcome Dave. Thank you, Eliza. Uh, hello, one and all. Um, morning, good day, good evening, depending on your location. Welcome to our presentation today. Um, I'd like to kick it off very quickly with the executive summary. As you know, in the biopharma sector today, we are using more and more powder in ever-increasing volumes. And for all of those that have had some experience in industry in processing, handling powders is just far more of a challenge than handling liquids. And in response to this, our organization has developed and delivered a solution for your powder handling challenge that will allow you to cut significant time off your biologics processing. So one thing I always do like to ask my audience, uh, you should be asking yourself is, just why are you listening to this presentation? If you're experiencing, like many people, a situation where you're handling an ever-increasing volume of powder in your process, or you see this is something that's going to be happening soon, you'll be asking yourself, are you happy with your present powder handling operations? Is it labor-intensive, time-consuming? Is it one of the biggest challenges you have to maintain a, a good GMP environment? If you're answering these questions in the positive, I, I believe this presentation will be just what you'll be looking for. So let's talk about some of the industry trends. As we all know, uh, large-scale single-use manufacturing is greatly increasing. The table on the right-hand side of this slide here just captures some of the reasons why industry is moving in that direction, particularly in the uh, biologic sector. Uh, continuous processing on the require on-demand media and buffer. Again, this is a, an industry trend that we're all hearing about, if not directly engaged in today. Everyone is looking for a closed system just to support their GMP manufacturing, um, a key element of pharmaceutical production. Plus, customers are looking for that versatility in their manufacturing. They're not always making the same product. It can be a regular change around of, of the final product they have to deliver from their system. And Everyone, again, is trying to minimize and eliminate the need for clean in place. This isn't just for the design challenges of cleaning equipment, but all the time and effort required in validating that you've achieved the cleaning that you desire. So there are specific challenges moving from phase two into manufacturing. Um, in phase one and phase two, Liquid media and buffer are far more commonly used, and using liquid is a greater challenge when you look up to, to ramp up your production. Greater volumes of liquid require the space to store and handle the liquids. 
the expiry dates on liquids are far shorter than powder forms. And shipping liquids is more expensive purely based on the volume difference between uh, liquid and powder. So a lot of these challenges can be solved by moving to powdered media and buffer, and that's exactly where we can begin to offer solutions. So some of the challenges, though, that you'll run into once you've moved towards powdered media and buffer include your existing packaging. Um, it doesn't always work with the process that you have. Um, some of the larger packaging can create uneven distribution of the powder. And when you're removing powder from this large packaging, you can get significant changes in the powder particles, be it size distribution or other properties. Also, it is, um, excuse me, <coughs> open manufacturing. Um, Open manway charging for powder always risks the opportunity for contamination, and there is a major drive in the industry to keep the manways closed. Um, so you need to find an alternative, reliable method for that powder addition. Plus, the amount of powder that's required, there's going to be often the need for multiple charges of either uh, media and buffer. And this increase in powder handling brings to the fore the fundamental challenge of handling powders. It is basically more difficult than handling liquid and will soon become one of the biggest processing challenges that you have in your production facility. I'll like that, okay, I'll hand over to you. Thank you, Dave. Okay, everyone, it's now time for today's poll. So, the polling question today is, what is your biggest hurdle when making large media and buffers? And the options that we have are power handling, mixing, on-time delivery, storage, or other. So, if everybody would like to make their options now, select their um, options now and we'll give everybody a couple of minutes to make those. Just in the meantime, just a reminder, if you do have any questions, you can send them in via the questions widget. This is the top, um, top of your screen, the left hand corner of your screen and click submit. And we will allocate some time at the end of the session to address any questions or thoughts that you may have. Okay, so it looks like everybody's made their selection. So if we just move to the results. Oh, right, so we have some very interesting results. So 66.7% voted for power handling and 33.3% for mixing. Interesting. Okay, I'll pass it back to you now, Dave. Thank you, everybody, for voting. Um, it seems that we have lost the audio. I apologize. Dave. I apologize. Um, I'm back. The, the provision of a mute button is exceedingly powerful in today's environment, but it does help to use it properly. I am now back. Um, so regarding the poll results, interesting, it does underline that I think um, – as we all know, powder handling is one of the biggest challenges that we face in any manufacturing environment, and particularly in the biologics field, where, as I discussed earlier, there's an ever-increasing need to use more and more powders. And this is where ILC Dover can become um, the vendor of choice. We have a heritage in solving problems by combining our material design, engineering, and manufacturing expertise. The photographs here present a array of challenging solutions that we have provided um, 
solutions to. Challenging problems, we bring the solution. And that is what the pedigree of our company is all about. So the concept of delivering solutions to your power to handling is just where we come from. And we've been involved in this as a dedicated uh, problem solver for power to handling since the mid-90s. So taking that expertise and hearing what the industry was demanding, we have developed a single-use solution for powder handling called the Easy Biopack. This is a product designed specifically for powder transfer and containment. This isn't a product adapted from another use, but as I said, specifically for powder handling. It's also designed to fit into your process and not necessarily have your process fit our product. It addresses the concern about contamination and eliminates the need for extra cleaning validation, which is obviously is additional time and cost. And it's using an established industry-wide validated film, clearly an important foundation to what you require when looking for a powder handling solution. So let me get into some of the specific properties of this product, the Easy Buyer Pack. Advantage number one, large fill opening. We actually have a dedicated opening on our bag for filling powder. As you look at this slide on the left-hand side, is a typical powder handling bag, which is designed with a single opening, very small, whereas we take the full diameter of the bag that allows you to make an easy fill. Second advantage, as we all know in the recipes that are required in biologics manufacture, a precise amount of powder is required. Um, as you can see, this large opening on the top of our bag makes it extremely easy to access the bag for fine tuning of the material. Third advantage, contamination prevention. Our bag is designed such that when you do open it up, the outside of the bag is covered by the skirt of, of the opening, such that as you do filling, etc., any spills that occur do not fall on the outside of your bag, causing you to do additional cleanup or validation of the cleanup. The fourth advantage, a separate discharge outlet. I talked about how you fill the bag, but having a separate discharge outlet means we can design this outlet to fit your process. You are not trying to both fill and empty the bag through a single dedicated nozzle. We have a dedicated nozzle for both operations. Next advantage is our Armaflex 114. This is the industry-wide film, recognized film. It contains a permanent static dissipative material that ensures that the product is freely released and you do not have it clinging to the film at the end of the dispensing. This greatly reduces waste, makes your charges remain accurate with regards to the, the weight, and again, further helps you with eliminating additional cleanup and validation. As I said before, we make it, this product, we make it to fit your process. Um, advantage number six, this easy buy pack is available in a range of sizes from five to presently 100 liter and a range of outlet sizes with tri-clamp flanges. Um, as you can see from this table, it's an extensive range. So I'm sure what you need to fit on your particular process tank nozzle, we, are have, uh, we have available for you. Next advantage is the quality of the film, the quality of the product. This is underlined by 
the number of certifications associated with our Easy Buy a Pack bag. Please reach out to us, our dedicated team in the quality department who are second to none will allow you to take our bag and introduce it to your specific application in the shortest time possible with full and complete documentation. So I've talked about the advantages. I've shown you some pictures. Next, we're going to move into an actual video showing you hands-on just how this bag works for you. As OpenSuite biopharmaceutical manufacturing has evolved, single-use containment for powder transfer has proven its value. But not all single-use systems were born alike. We'd like to tell you how our Easy Biopack single-use containment and transfer system can help you improve productivity and profitability. Compared to competitive two-dimensional bags, our three-dimensional Easy Biopack bags offer faster, easier filling, easier handling and transport, faster and more complete discharging, and minimal product retention. How do we accomplish that? First, our system was designed and built specifically to handle powders. It wasn't derived from some existing liquid handling system. Our three-dimensional Easy Biopack bags feature a large, round opening that makes them easy to fill and easy for operators to fine-tune to exact weight. Other systems' single-use bag exteriors can become contaminated when product spills, overflows during filling, or settles out of the air, requiring wipe-down of the bag's exterior surface, filling funnel, and support stand. Not so with Easy Biopack. An integrated protective skirt folds down over the Easy Biopack's polypropylene support stand, as well as the exterior of the bag, to prevent contamination. Once filling is complete, the skirt is simply rolled back up and clamped shut, keeping any powder on its surface sealed inside. Wipe down of the stand and bag exterior is eliminated. Sealing the bag once it's filled is also easy using either the attached zip ties or ILC Dover's proprietary crimping system. In either case, the bag's contents are safely secured until time to discharge the powder into a processing vessel. Competitive two-dimensional bags have only one narrow pinch pleated opening for both fill and discharge. Easy Biopack three-dimensional bags incorporate a smooth, conical discharge outlet completely separate from the fill opening. Our bags are also made using our ArmorFlex 114 polymer with inherent anti-static properties. The combination of the Easy Biopack bag's geometry and its anti-static material work together to minimize product retention. In fact, live testing showed product retention of only 2 grams in each of three separate trials when discharging 5 kilograms of powder. That's a retention of just 4 hundredths of 1%. To cover the full range of manufacturing needs, Easy Biopack bags are available in a range of capacities from 1 liter up to 100 liters, with sanitary flange sizes ranging from 1.5 inches to 8 inches. While media and buffer ingredients are generally benign and stable, handling any powder can disperse fine particles into the air and long-term exposure can cause harm. ILC Dover's Easy Biopack system substantially lessens the amount of powder dispersed, so the risk of cross-contamination is lower changeover time is reduced, and cleanup time is minimized, which can work together to increase both productivity and profitability. Learn more about Easy Biopack Systems at the ILC Dover website. Okay, everybody. So, it is now time for our second polling question of the today. So similar as earlier, the question that we have is, what problem would incorporating EZ Biopack into your process most help with? And the options that we have are contamination or cleaning, speed of process, ease of use, or other. So as earlier, if you'd all like to select your answers, and we will give everybody a moment to make those, and then we will reveal the results. Just another reminder, in order to ask questions, you can send them in via the questions widget. If you just type them into the box at the top left-hand corner of your screen and click Submit, and we are going to allocate some time at the end of this session to address any of the questions or thoughts that you may have had. Okay, thank you. Okay, looks like everybody's made their selection, so let's reveal the results. 
Oh, interesting. So 50% voted for contamination or cleaning, 16.7% for speed of process, and 33.3% for ease of use. I'll now pass it back to Dave. Thank you for voting, everybody. Thank you, Eliza. And I learned from my previous error and controlled my mute button perfectly this time. Uh, very quickly, just presenting some data here. This is actually from one of our customers who have been using the Easy Biopack extensively and reported significant time savings plus greatly improved ease of use from the using the Easy Biopack to what they were previously using for their powder handling. Um, the first slide here shows some information regarding the dispensing process. And secondly, the receipt and sampling process and how it affects the overall hydration process. Um, I think this data is telling its own story and we'd be more than happy to discuss in detail other experiences and examples that we've had from industry. So, in conclusion, let's review what is key about the Easy Buy Pack and how it can help you with your medium buffer production and moving your process through to market far more rapidly than you're maybe presently uh, experiencing. The optimum single use powder container that gets you to market faster is the Easy Buy Pack. It's a product designed for the use of powder by powder experts. Um, as we've shown, the pedigree of the company making this product is second to none and ensures both quality and completely sound function of the product that you're using. We can eliminate all the time and effort associated with cleaning validation. It moves greatly towards reducing EHNS concerns and enhances your GMP operation and ultimately saves time for each and every powder handling step, which when you multiply by the amount of batches that you're operating and the amount of powder charges you're making will have a significant impact on just how quickly your product is delivered to the marketplace. So I appreciate you listening to the presentation today, and I'm happy to hand back to Eliza. Thank you so much, Dave. So everybody, it is now time for the Q&A section. So we've received some interesting questions in. So I'm going to be asking Dave some of these. Um, just a reminder, you do still have time to submit any questions you may have. So please feel free to submit those in the Q&A box. Okay, Dave, so the first question that we have today is, we use open powder handling and it works well enough. Why should I change? Well, the answer to that is don't change because of what I'm telling you today. Uh, on this presentation. Please continue to do what is best suited to your operation and manufacturing philosophy. However, if your existing practices require a change for whatever reason and you want to move to um, an improved powder handling situation, please reach out to us. We believe we have the optimum solution uh, we state that based on its extensive use in the industry already. And whenever you need assistance with making changes to your present operation, we're there to help you. That's great. Thank you so much, Dave. Okay, so the second question we have is, what are the other benefits of working with ILC Dover? I think as we highlighted earlier, one of the key things is we're, we have been a specialist in powder handling um, and powder transfer since the, we began working with our, our first client that drove us into this particular area, Eli Lilly in the mid-90s. It has been the focus of our business. We have a, a, a deep expertise both in the engineering, 
the design and the manufacture of these products. And we have other things too that will help you in terms of how to get your powders handled better within your process, fulfilling all the needs that are generated by the typical GMP operation today. Thank you, Dave. Okay, so we've got another question here. The bags we use have broken in the past. What is your experience? Fundamentally, um, our experience is exceedingly good. Uh, we, do, we have a bag that's very tough and robust. That is a result of the expertise that we've applied in the film. But fundamentally, the manufacturing expertise that we, we bring to the table. Um, you saw earlier a picture of the spacesuit. Um, thankfully, there has never been a spacesuit failure. Our suits are used in one of the toughest environments uh, in the universe. And fundamentally, one particular issue in the design and manufacture is pinch seals versus lap seals. Take a look at some of the existing powder bags that you're maybe using that aren't from our organization. Take a close look at the seals that are used. A lot of bags use this pinch seal design that is notorious for being a failure point. We don't go that way. We, we use lap seals. Our expertise in fixing and forming plastics has existed for 70 years, and that's applied to every product that we make today. And the feedback from industry is, we don't have failures. That's great. Thank you, Dave. Okay, next question. Do you have adequate manufacturing capabilities to maintain supply? We do. Um, we have uh, manufacturing sites in both the U.S. and Ireland. Um, in fact, the one in Ireland is currently undergoing a, a significant expansion to further increase our capacity. So in terms of uh, total capacity, uh, there are no concerns at all, and we look forward to um, being challenged further by our customers, and we will respond accordingly um, with further increases, increases in what we do manufacturing. Thank you. Okay, so it looks like we've got time for one more question. Um, how hard to, is it to validate this film into my process? The difficulty of validating the film is very much driven by our customers and their needs. But what I will say is we have um, an excellent quality department that will hold your hand and guide you through that process and support you in any way that you wish. And fundamentally, um, we have already been validated at every major pharmaceutical and biopharmaceutical producer in the world, and we're ready to help do the same for you and get our film validated and our products validated for your use as soon as possible. That's great. Thank you. So that just leaves me to thank Dave for what was a great presentation and to ILC Dover for sponsoring this session. To the attendees, you will receive an email shortly telling you how you can access the on-demand version of this webinar. Or you can access this through our website, which is www.business-review-webinars.com. We look forward to sharing further presentations with you, so please do keep an eye out on our website and follow us on Twitter at BR Webinars for daily updates and join our LinkedIn group, Business Review Webinars. Thank you once again, and I hope you all have a lovely day.